Hi, I'm Tim Sheriff. In this session, <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Swanstrom bale forming pliers to make the S hooks for this S hook necklace. I'm using uh, 18 gauge wire and I'm cutting them to three and a half inches in length to make the S hooks. And I've, I've installed the two and a half millimeter jaw on the tool. To make the S hook, I'll put the wire, wire in and I'll form one, a small, a small eye on the one end of the wire. And now I'm just going to form the larger loop. Now I'll go to the other end of the wire and form a small loop on that end of the wire. And you can see that I'm keeping this up so that when I form my S, it on this end, it will automatically bring it the other way. And you might need to do some, you might need to go back and close these small loops up because they tend to open up when you form the larger loop. After I formed the S hook, then I <coughs> hard soldered the small eyes closed on each end of the eye and then I also hard soldered them to the mid middle member of the S hook. So there's a solder joint here, here and in the center. After I formed the S hook and soldered the three places on the S hook. Then I all, I, the next step was to solder a jump ring on each end of the S hook. Then after I soldered the jump rings on the S hook, I used a, a bench block and a frets planishing hammer to flatten the S hook. I flattened it on one side, then flipped it over and flattened the other side. After I got all the S hooks made, I linked them together with jump rings. 